Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. So, this is a video idea from um, originally from Effie Colours and then um, I think Imogen from Colouring Kid did it as well and um, they, I think, were happy to open it up to any other YouTubers who wanted to do a similar thing. So, um, it's basically all the completed pages and all whips from the and uh, not and or and whips i think um from books purchased in 2020 so um thank you so much for this video idea and for opening it up to others i've taken up taken up the chance to do this and um i want to basically show you all my completed pages and whips um from the books that i purchased in 2020 now um I bought a lot of things because I believe I'm a collector of colouring books and art supplies so that's my excuse anyway that's why I keep telling myself um, and uh, so therefore the video would be mega long if I if I did all my colouring books I bought in 2020 in one video so what I'm doing is I'm sharing the pages from the colouring books that I purchased during January and February of 2020 so we're going to start here first um, instead of me going on forever um, with this book this was one of the books I bought it's Mandala Claire Book Artist Edition 2 I'm not going to um, spend too long on each book um, I'm just going to do a quick little flick like this and show you the pages so um, yeah beautiful hardback book single sided pages this was one of the pages that I did um, what else did I do in here? I really need to get back to this book as well because it's really a joy to colour in it. Um, and I do I do like mandalas, especially detail ones like this. So that's another one I did. Um, that's another one I did. I like the um, just the very limited palette on this one, just like green and purples. And I do use different medias mediums on it as well. So anything else? So this was purchased from Amazon, just in case anyone was wondering. And then that's uh, one I did as well. So yeah, I've, I've coloured quite a lot in this book. So when the book is really nice quality, you just, I don't know, you gravitate towards it more or else um, I do anyway. Next one was 50 Marvelous Dragons. Um, beautiful book by Camelia Angelkova. I think I've only done one in here. Um, the lovely pictures in here. Again, I need to get... I need to really... I've got a lot of colouring books. So I need to spend my life colouring <laughs> whenever I can. Right, so this is the one I did, which is lovely baby dragon. I think there's some glossy accents there as well. But yeah, and I think that's um, some sort of colour or stardust paint. So yeah. I mean, that was done, yet yeah, in January 2020. It was completed then. So, yes, that's that one. And that's all I've done in that one. Next one is Creative Haven, Whimsical Mandalas. So, this is a, a beautiful book. I really like There's a theme for each um, Whimsical Mandala. So, this is um, Artist Paints. So, I've got, like, different media on there, gel pens and whatnot alcohol markers and all that sort of stuff lovely pictures um each with a some sort of a theme i think i've done one more that's it this one here which is makeup um i've got some glittery uh, lips there at the bottom so yeah that's that one Whimsical Mandalas by Creative Haven and then I have uh, Sea Circles by Tabitha um, Barnett and again this is a beautiful book I think I might have done about three in here so you got some black background ones um, this is one that I did it's just fun fun to do alcohol markers no shading um, you can see that it's alcohol markers there um, no shading just straightforward um, fun picture to colour. I think I might have done one more. There's another one there. This is acrylic paint in the middle here. I was just testing it out. Um, 
not too uh, chuffed with that one I think it <laughs> could be better still it's all an experience and then this one here I do like um, I like the colours and the gel pen stuff I'm not so keen on this I don't I think that might have been ink tense I'm not even sure where it is but it's a bit patchy so it's not great um, but yes Sea Circles by Tabitha Barnett the next one is Creative Haven Sea Life Mandalas it's the deluxe edition by Joe Taylor um, I am not sure I might have done just one in here but yeah this is um, a thicker book than your usual Creative Haven um, books because it's a deluxe edition so lots of sea type themed mandalas uh, I like themed mandalas uh, more than just the pattern ones and I like detailed mandalas so this one uh, I'm really pleased with I think just just the colours I've used the gel pens the um, I used alcohol markers you can tell from the back there um, but yeah I really I do like this one and that's it that's all I did in sea life mandalas next one is this one uh, I purchased which was nice little town interiors by Tatiana Bogima still over um, now I actually haven't coloured anything in here I'm ashamed to say um, really should colour in this one but yeah not coloured in that one but yeah I do like it so yeah nice little town interiors and then I purchased um, Laurie's uh, art garden a poster colouring book by Laurie Gardner Woods and it's a chameleon sort of um, you know the chameleon marker people who, who um, so you get like this page um, sort of a blank page so that you don't have to worry about it's mainly for alcohol markers and if you're going to use alcohol markers it's specifically for that purpose but um, I mean I use whatever now I've only done one in here which is this fox and of course because I use loose glitter it goes everywhere um, but yeah I did use some alcohol markers but I think I use watercolours as well yeah really thick paper really nice um, so yeah I really like this Mr Fox picture it's just I need to get rid of all this glitter that's um, going everywhere basically as it does and that's the only one I've done really in um, that one Laurie's Art Garden next is beautiful book um, fantastic this was the second one I got I got the fantastic zoo colouring book one as well but this one was off Etsy it wasn't available on Amazon UK but it's a beautiful book um, it was Imogen from Colouring Kid who enabled me with this one so I've got this just take that off it's, I've got this particular style of um, books from Oh, what's his name? I think it will show us on the English version. But I can't. I can't remember his name, but it will say it on the English version because it's the same artist, uh, which I'll show you in a in a minute or two. So yeah, this is. I mean, Polychromos and pencils, other pencils as well, but Polychromos in particular, they work so well. Um, looking back at this, I think the pencil on the giraffe is not great. That needs that needs sorting out a little bit, but. That's my. That's me. Not not the pencils. That's uh, my lack of skill. Um, but yeah, I can use gel pens and other stuff on here because the paper is thicker than much thicker than the um, first book, which is the UK edition. Whereas this is, of course, the Japanese edition. So I can't. Um, so I can't actually tell you what it says. But yes, so that's one of the pages. But yeah, I don't think the blending's done so well on the giraffe there. I've just noticed. I'm a bit disappointed in that, but no matter. I shall get back to it. And then here you've got these little animals as well. And I was just practicing. Um, and then yeah, did my Nile crocodile, which I was really pleased with. And I used them. Um, I think I used pan pastels for the background there. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, it does say the name in English at least, and then the rest is in Japanese, I think. I think I did that one. I did the owl, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, again, using soft pastel for the background and lots of gel pen because it is thicker paper. So there's no shadowing. And that's it. Oh, yeah. This is just in the front. That's already sort of giving you examples. So, yeah, um, that's that one. Next one is Drum Reese um, by Maria Troll. Uh, this was one of the books I got, I think, in, might have been in January last year. Um, I've done a few, maybe three in here. That one I always save for autumn and then I chicken out and don't do it. So, yeah, this one is one I've done. I really like this one. It's, it's quite nice. The background could be better because it is quite patchy, um, especially the black. So another layer of black would be better. Um, the rest of it, like the flowers and the fine liners I've used, I'm happy with the rest of it. Background could be better. It's, it is a bit patchy, but still we live and learn, don't we? So this one I am happy with. I, have, I don't think I've got any complaints with this one. Um, I do really like this one. And then this one's probably my favourite one in the book. Um, I have got a video, might have been, might be in a few parts. But I've got a video where I'm doing, when I'm colouring this picture. The background's neo colour twos, and I used pastel shades. Got lots of um, uh, stickles and you know other stuff on there, like metallic paints. And that's it. So that's Dream Reese by Maria Troll. Um, and then I got the spring one from a, who was it, Rita Berman, that's it. And I have completed a few in here, like this one. This one was completed in March of last year. I just really like this, the sheep and they look so cute and I just wanted to make them multicoloured. Um, and yeah, it took me a while to do this because I think I did it pretty much all in pencil. Might be it might be a little fine a bit of fine line, but I don't think there's any gel pen on here. And then a more recent one, in fact a very recent one is this one, which I completed this year in April. Um so that's like quite recent. And then this one, I think this one was quite recent as well, in March of 2021. Um, but yeah, when you look back, you see how you've developed. And then this one, this one is prepared with a gesso um, prepped page. It's quite rough. Um, so last year, April. Um, I love the blossoms. But yeah, it was fun doing this one. And the colours are quite intense. So, and that, oh, one more, one more there I spotted. Mainly pencil for this one. It's just... The the mice look so cute. So, yeah, this was in March last year. And I think I used some gel pen and things for this. That's that one. Not too long to go now. And then I have, because um, I remember I'm only doing the books I purchased in January and February of 2020. So this is um, Sherry Baldy, My Besties, Under the Sea Flower Town Colouring Book. Um, and... I really like this, but I am again ashamed to say that I have not coloured a page in this one. I mean, you can see most of the books I do colour in, but then there's a few that slip through the net. Um, I have considered doing this one before, but just never got round to it. So yeah, it's a lovely book. Right, the next one, which I should have coloured in this year during spring, I guess it's still spring, so there's still time. Bold spring time to colour by Ellery Fowler. Now, I think this was her second or third or maybe even fourth book, but her first book was Joyce Blooms in Colour and it was absolutely gorgeous and there's thicker paper. The book did fall apart, unfortunately, because the it wasn't stitch bound. But unfortunately, her other books are thinner paper, so not... The, the pictures are so nice. I mean, I would pay extra 
to have better quality paper because the pictures are so beautiful it's just such a shame I mean, look at that how cute is that such a shame that the paper lets it down so in here I cannot use gel pens or anything else apart from soft pastel probably um, soft pastel should be fine and a pencil and that's it really you, you know um, if I risk using gel pen which um, I might have done because I've got a whip in here so this is the whip that I've got I did risk using gel pen a little bit there and you do get a little bit of shadowing uh, unfortunately look how beautiful that picture is let me just show you sorry this one isn't that you know so beautiful um, so anyway back to my whip um, yeah you can only really use pencil here um, or if you are going to like gel pen you will get a little bit of shadowing because it is quite thin paper um, but yeah, I need to come back to finishing that. But the pictures are outstanding. So yeah, Baltimore Times Colour by Ellery Fowler. And then I got, of course, the Worlds Within Worlds book, um, which is beautiful by Kirby Rosand. And I got two copies, as you can see. And um, I'm just going to flick through it quickly because I've got a separate video, I think, with the pictures in. Let's bring you out a little bit. There we go. So we've got the is it the pterodactyls I think it is um, I've done quite a lot in here because you can tell that it's my favourite book of Kirby's um, definitely my favourite and then that one and then the rabbits then we have the ants as well so of course because it's my favourite book I, I did get um, a second copy of it um, because well I do want to do some of the pictures again uh, this has been pre-prepped with um, gold and satin glaze so that's basically all watercolour um, I've got the bubbles here with the different scenes so happy with that I like that one I'm not sure how I'd do another one of those but as in I would want to do it differently in my second book and this is one of my favourite pictures um, of all time it's the globe this one's another pre-prepped page with golden satin glaze so yeah you can see how many I've done in here fair number I'm not, I'm not too pleased with this one I think it's I don't think that one's come out too good unfortunately I do really like this one though this one is really nice I like this dragon I liked how that come out and I like this one as well I like the bold flashy colours there not happy with either of these what a disaster um, I used the pointillism technique here which isn't the bit that I don't like I don't like the black at all it's not dark enough and, and then I, I did this in watercolour, I think it was a gessoed page and yeah, didn't really come out too good unfortunately. Uh, this one I do like and yeah that's it for that one and then in my other world, within world, I really haven't done that much. I've done the um, flamingos, I think I've got a video showing um, how I did the sort of the sky in the background with neo colour twos. I haven't really done anything else in here apart from this one which was a buddy colour with Shell Artie and I do like how this one came out as a pre-prepared page. So that's Worlds Within Worlds and then finally this was the uh, original book then, the first um, book that it was Kami Chidu, I think this is his um, sort of publisher name. Uh, Fantastic Zoo. I showed you Fantastic Zoo 2 earlier. This is the um, part, well, book one basically, the first book, and it is a UK version. It is thinner paper, it's still not as thin as um, Amazon printed paper, so it's better than that, but it's not as thick as the second book, which is the Japanese printed one that I got off Etsy. Um, again, the paper is beautiful, the pencils love it. Um, 
happy with this. The polychromos particularly work really, really well. Um, what else did I do in here? I've got these two. Again, soft pastel in the background. Um, I think I'll only use soft pastel in this book, to be honest. Uh, Multicolour jellyfish. Oops. Let's see what we've got here. And then the penguins. With uh, I did use a little bit of... Um, might have been Mod Podge Extreme Glitter there, just to give it a bit of a shine. And then this one is the Kiwi. Looking cute. And uh, I've got the Chameleon, and I think this was the first one I ever did in this book. Um, and yeah, I like how that came out as well. So yeah, I was inspired again by Imogen, who introduced me through her videos to this book. And then Giraffe. Um, I think it's all pencil, really. I'm not sure I used any gel pen. No, all pencil. And then the donkey. Oops. I think that might be it, actually. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And that's it. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.